Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to be looking at making some transformations in Power Query and using the M formula language within custom columns to generate absolute numbers. And what I mean by that is numbers that aren't affected in a negative sense, they're just they're all formatted as positive numbers, even if they're negative, we just want to show the variance. So quite a common use case. So to get into Power Query, we need to click on transform data. And you'll see I have data from a previous uh, video, which I can link, which is just showcasing, highlighting com uh, columns dynamically, depending whether they're in, in a top three, top N format. So we can actually just duplicate this table and go through some basic Power Query functions anyway, I guess, while we're here. So we can duplicate our location spend table, make another one. We can then kind of chop and change things and get it back to a, a decent state so that we can properly showcase our absolute Power Query M function. So I'll just call the table absolute numbers. Now we can delete some of the steps by pressing the X next to the applied steps that we previously had. Now we've got the table in a good state for what we need. We've got the just simple data, location, spend and budget. We'll make this more specific as a method of good practice. We'll call that forecast and we'll change the name of this column here. Right click and we'll click rename and we can just change it to actual spend. So there we go. We've got our table specific. Um, as we want it to be. We can also go into the applied steps, click properties and actually rename the steps so that if we pick this up later, um, it's easier for us or when we collaborate to find exactly what we were doing if there's many applied steps. So I'm just saying make column names more specific. I'll add a description which actually shows as a comment when we hover over the applied steps. So another great practice. Now, I'm making this transformation in Power Query. Um, the ideal solution, of course, may be to do this in Excel. We have the absolute formula in Excel as well. We wanna hit this as far upstream as possible, but maybe Power Query is the, the furthest step up the stream that we can do this. So now we can go into the add column within the top ribbon and select custom column. And what we want to do is we're just gonna apply basic calculation. So we can name the column, I'll call this budget difference between our actual spend and our forecast. And then we just need to apply a simple formula. So we can actually just double click on actual spend, use the subtract the minus key on our keyboard and use forecast. And we're just saying, give us the, the difference between the actual spend and forecast. Now the issue here, <coughs> it doesn't come in a standard um, data type. It's got the ABC and the one, two, three, so it's not a text or a, or a number. And that's because we get the minus signs. Now, let's say that the goal here was just to show the variance. We're not actually bothered whether it's positive or negative. So how do we get an absolute number? Well, an absolute number takes away those negative signs and it just shows the total variance regardless. So there's actually great Microsoft documentation on all the Power Query M functions. And it's just a reference guide with over 700 functions. So we can actually get to the absolute number function by going into number functions here. And this will take us through to the whole reference guide to the number functions within Power Query M, where M is just the formula language behind the scenes. And we've got number.abs, which is what we're gonna need. And we see in the description, it returns the absolute value of a number. So as we scroll down, we see some examples where here the basic, most basic example is just if we wrap our number or our formula within our custom column in number.abs, it's going to convert it to the absolute value, where the absolute value of minus three is just three. And in our case, we just want to see the total variance. So that's a good solution. So we can press this cog wheel beside the applied step and we can just wrap what we call wrap the previous formula in number.abs, we get that nice autofill feature. So we've got number.abs, we just need to add some standard brackets or parentheses around this formula. And now when we click OK, 
once we've seen that there's no syntax errors present, there we go, fantastic. We get our absolute values. Now, the last thing we might want to do again is change the type within this budget difference because right now it's in this sort of um, intermediary type where we can now change this to a whole number. There's no decimal numbers present. So there we go, click whole number after right click and change type on the column and looks good. We now have actual spend, forecast and budget difference. So this is a way rather than going through doing this in DAX, we can go further upstream improve our model, improve the performance if we have lots of applied steps and these sorts of changes and we now have an extra insight within our report and we'll see when we click close and apply it will load in correctly. As usual if you enjoyed this content please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share for more. Thank you.